Hi guys and welcome back. Today we are at VMAX 200 and the weather gods have been really kind to us. It's really sunny and we've got a tailwind instead of a headwind. Last time we got a 199.5 so we really want to break that 200 mile an hour barrier this time around. We have the F90 M5 ready. The only part we've changed is the Super Sprint manifolds. I have timed the car sort of 100 to 200 and those times are the same but we're hoping it's going to make a difference at the top end. So I'm going to jump in the car do a few runs see where we're at and then hopefully as the day goes on we'll alter the tune and see if we can hit that 200 mile an hour mark We're just going for our first run, which is normally a bit of a sighter. We're going to data log it because we've been tuning the car the last couple of days, but obviously um, at limited speeds, not at the kind of speeds we're going to do here. So we need to make sure the car is running okay. So what we've changed from the last time is we've fitted the Super Sprint manifolds. It hasn't made any difference to the 0-60 and like the quarter mile times, but yeah we're hoping it's going to make a difference sort of at the top end where the exhaust gas temperatures start getting a bit high so this will give us the information we need hopefully we've got a bit of a tailwind today as well so hopefully that will help last time we had 13 mile an hour headwind so start So lightweight passenger in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so did you, yeah, did you stop that? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay, so it's done the log. So cool. All right, we'll have a look at the data log and we'll see what's going on, but not bad for a first run. So just looking at the draggy time. So I've done a 16.7 half mile, 10.78 quarter mile, which is not bad. Under 205.96. So on a dedicated run, I can get that down to 5.36 if the temperature conditions and everything is nice. So it's not too, not too bad. Uh, I need to get the launch a little bit better, I think. So I'll practice that now.
So we're midway through the day. Uh, the fastest I've done is a 198.3 at the moment. Um, so we're gonna have a bit of a break and then let the car cool down, go out again. Uh, we've changed the fuel slightly now. So we're running, instead of uh, Shell V power, we've put a bit of um, MS109 in the car. Uh, we're gonna run as it is now and then probably increase the ignition timing a little bit and see if that can take us over the 200 mile an hour area. It's two o'clock and this is only our fourth run, I think. So we're not doing too well today. There's been stoppage after stoppage, people not braking in time, so. Mm. And I have to leave early today. So I haven't even had a chance to play around with the settings. Okay. Stick your window up, Ricky. Let's get ready. Yes, finally, first run of the day for Ricky. <laughs> it's two o'clock. <laughs> and we've got a GTR. Uh, not a clue what the power is, but M power. Have your seatbelt on. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> My car's got a triangle seatbelt, seatbelt, seatbelt. Let's have a look at what we got. Draggy's being slow again. Maybe he was taking it easy though because the other GTR just crashed. Let's have a look at what we got. This car is just next level. 16.6, so yeah, a bit quicker still than yeah. last time, so we're making an improvement. So I think we'll load the map with slightly more ignition timing in now and then we'll try and run again.
probably the fifth run of the day. It's been really broken up because so many people not stopping at the end. So we're up against another F90, which is also stage two, but running methanol injection. So be an interesting comparison. Draggy times. 5.97, she's not bad, not from a standard run, it's like a half mile. 16.62, so yeah, getting quicker with every little tweak we're making. I'll probably do another run on this map now, see if we can get it any better, and then uh, we'll tweak it a little bit more. But I'm happy with that so far. So we are lining up against Acid's E63. If you remember from last time we had a race and I just about beat him, so let's see what's going on this time. He was still busy tuning it last night, so I, I think he's got a lot more setup to do. basically up to about 160 and then we started pulling away so it's got a bit more work to do good race though
So this is going to be our final run of the day. So we've hit 200 which I'm really happy about so let's see if we can improve on that. We've altered the map a little bit more, added a little bit more ignition timing. Logs look good so let's see what happens. It's ambience actually a bit higher, it's gone up to 21 so it's just been getting higher and higher as the day's been going. But no one to run against by the looks of it, unless someone does a late entry. Let's go. again but we'll verify it when we get back and see what we've done let me check draggy out half mile 16.49 yeah so 16 and a half is the fastest I've done so boss uh, Matt just confirmed to me I just did 199.8 so we have cracked the 200 which is good I'm really really happy about that so hopefully we get some improvements next time. So that's another VMAX done it's been a really good day despite the few stoppages we've had I only managed to run about eight times compared to the normal 20 but I'm really really happy that we managed to hit 200 miles an hour GPS in a standing 1.1 mile We're using stock fueling so basically no methanol injection and it's I'm really impressed with the car we should have hit it last time but the conditions were a little bit more favorable this time a bit of a tailwind instead of a headwind um, we're going to go back to evolve now over winter we've got more plans for this car so next vmax is in march so hopefully we can come back even stronger thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like to watch more of this project you can do so over here if you'd like to watch what youtube suggests you might like from our other videos you can watch that over here if you like this video please click on the thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comment section and we'll do our best to answer them for you.